Hi. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a timeout uh, handling for your activity in SAP workflow. So here, you are looking at one workflow which I have created, which starts from here, and then it will branch out to two activities. Uh, one is to call for a user decision. Do you want to create an absence, absence form? And the other is to just send an email. So this send an email is just uh, for testing purpose. Ignore it for this uh, video. Uh, I just want to focus on this particular user decision um, activity. Now we're going to create a timeout control on this one to handle this activity in case uh, it's not being handled within time. So what we're going to do is that uh, I'm just going to double click on it. And you can see that uh, normally you are at uh, this uh, tab. But if you want to do a timeout handling, you go to this latest end tab, right? And you say, OK, I want it to time out after one minute, for example. Uh, if no action is being performed on this, um, then it will time out after one minute, right? And I need to make sure I select the reference time for one minute. Uh, I will choose uh, from the point of work item creation, right? And uh, if it times out, what do I do? I need to model it. Uh, I will just say, OK, time out. OK, and I click OK. Now you can see that um, this item has, this icon has appeared. So that means um, the a timeout has uh, been modeled for this activity. Okay. Now when it times out, I want to cancel the whole workflow. So this is what I'm going to do. Uh, I'll put in the process control here. I'm going to drag and uh, I'm going to drop. Wait, um, let me just. Uh, so what I'm going to do is that um, first of all, later I'm going to drag the uh, process control, right? So I said, now I will select this um, link here first, and then I will drop it here. And I say uh, cancel uh, workflow. How come is uh, workflow? And so I need to make sure that this is also displayed in the web log later on when I test it. And I would have to select the function is to cancel workflow. Okay, and I save it. And now you can see that uh, somehow the process uh, the cancel workflow has not been put in the right place, so I just do a cut. And I will select this link and I will do a paste here. Now you can see that it has changed. So it is now here. And you can see that uh, when it times out, um, I'm going to just cancel the whole workflow. Okay, so let's try to generate and run it. Okay, and I'm going to test it now. And run it. Okay, so now uh, let's take a look at where, how the execution has been going. Take a look at web, log, uh, web flow log. And uh, this is what you are seeing, right? So if you look at the uh, graphical workflow, uh, where is the status right now? Um, we are focusing on this branch, right? So it comes down to here. And you can see that it is right now at this step waiting for user decision. So if I don't take any action on this, after one minute, uh, it will come to this branch, which will just cancel the workflow. Let's see whether it happens or not. Okay, so I'm just going to remain in the workflow and I'm going to look at the details. Right, and I'm just going to keep refreshing it here. 
So after one or approximately two minutes uh, in reality, then it will uh, show out the timeout. Okay, now you can see that um, the timeout has happened. So the second row has appeared here, as you can see here, workflow system deadline reach, right? And if I refresh it again, you will see that this is happening. And if I look at the graphical workflow, here you go. You can see that this has been modeled and the uh, workflow has been canceled. Right, so this is how uh, you can model a timeout of activity in SAP workflow.